So that that song is September in the in rain. In the rain, yes, it is. And and you're just um, well, we've, you've got some music in front of you, but you you are improvising on chords and melodies. That's right. So this is from one of these big fate books. So a lot of jazz musicians learn this skill of playing from a lead sheet, as you can see there. There's the lead sheet and a set of chords. So what we've got written is the the simple melody. Singers tend not to phrase it as, as straight as that sometimes, and some people, some, some singers do, of course, particularly was ones who sing, I'm, I'm thinking like the Embostrid, you might sing like these kind of songs yeah. at his concerts and do them in a classical way, and it's gorgeous, beautiful. Um, but And then we have what's called the chord symbols, and if I were to play them just very simply, they are like this, just these kind of chords going through. And down. So you've got that information, mm -hmm. and then a, a pianist trains themselves to kind of spread out the chords, between both hands uh, and in this case I'm actually playing the tune as well uh, so we've got this kind of so I start I've got the melody I'm looking for a bass note and the chord but not the chord in its close position I'm looking to spread it out harmonically so it sounds really nice so yeah, I'm, I've made a choice to go down for the bass but I could have gone up high if I wanted to as well I could have revoiced this chord so I could have gone landed on that chord but then I might think of that chord and go well there's no movement on that chord maybe I should just create some some movement within the chord what do you mean by that do you so mean... like some textural things a bit like arpeggios or patterns so if you listen I could just land which is very nice or I could create a little bit of movement instead so that it's not too still or I may well just want a kind of nice back around kind of Would you, with something like this, I guess it would it would depend if you're doing this with a singer, on yeah. how that person sings as well. That's right, yeah. Um, and also, if you know that singer well, um, yeah. you you might be able to vary it as well, if, if they can vary it too a as well. Absolutely. And if they were maybe game, and even if it was an instrumentalist, like a horn player or something, maybe they wouldn't mind if I reharmonised it as well. So that's where musicians maybe make some decisions Okay. to reharmonize the chord so you might find we've got this chord there this e flat you might find a musician decides to reharmonize right so i reharmonize the chord i change the chord and substitute it for another so 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 i guess if if you're repeating phrases you might Subtly yeah. change them. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That well. yeah, absolutely. So, some basics on this. When you get like a chord, so just one of the chords on that, say like so a, E flat, that E flat six, maybe is the e first flat one. E flat six, yeah. If you just play the. So, that's the basic E flat six. So, would you stick with these notes that you're playing there? Uh, roughly. I might decide I want to add the nine in there as well, or the second. And particularly a chord like a six, which is a 1940s kind of chord. I'm not going to get too much of me in it. Right, so I stick to it because I guess I guess with these standards, you know, this was written in what nine thirty-five, is it? Yeah, it's thir yeah, you're close, thirty-seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah 37. So, so this this um, would have had a, a style. Yeah. Of that time, but I, I guess with all these standards, you can vary them. Yeah, right? absolutely. You can do all sorts of different Absol things with this, can't you? Absolutely. And in jazz, the dominant seven chord is generally the chord that jazzers alter the most. And right. play around with the most. So we, where do we have that? We've got that. Um, so we've got this dominant seven, this E flat seven there. So that's where jazz might do things like. So what I do here, I've changed this for an A flat seven flat nine. And actually, I've heard that chord now. It's quite a bit more pleasing to me from from right. the original chord. Uh, and so the the dominant seven chords are the most substituted chords in jazz that's where jazz musicians create the most kind of alteration and how 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 do you know what to do with this so you, you've got these chords that are written down. oh yeah so right you, okay you'll, you'll know the, the notes that make up the chords of yes course. correct but then you you can bring variations in, into that as well but um like you say you're just you're just sort of changing things you're changing how, how so have you got to yeah, that yeah so i just play the left hand so if i played yeah. the left hand just with the simple chords yeah. we've got this and then this it's a bit low, but yeah, flat six. So if you think, as you know, being a musician, you've got arpeggios. So you'd find you'd start to see me do little, little 
arpeggio patterns then suddenly that would come into it so now instead of it being a block chord and plucking it like you would on your guitar yeah yeah playing the chords and sometimes i'll play the chords down so instead i'll go instead of and a simple one is i've got my chord and i could play out to in or i could play in to out yeah so also you either yeah. That yeah, that's perfect, or yeah. Like that. Or you might go in and out. <laughs> <laughs> or you might just splash at it. So you could do a whole variety in this. Yeah, so absolutely. You? You could yeah, do yeah. so many different ways. And because we train as musicians to be able to try and do that in the moment. Mm -hmm. hmm. So so to, the training bit of it fascinates me. So you would you would obviously learn the chords. You would learn the chords, you would learn the melody. You might, if I were teaching a student, you might just put the chord the melody in the bass, which sounds really good actually, watch. So I'm just putting the tune and the name of the chord in the bass. And I've got a little bit of the tune there, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, and then you might think, can I put the fifth? So then you go back and go. Then you go back again and think, can I find a note from the chord underneath the tune? And suddenly, I'm starting to get something that I like the sound of. So you're building it up like that. So I guess the, the, if you work on this and you do different variations, you, after a while, if you do this quite a lot, you, you'll find ones that you particularly like. That yeah, you might return to and slightly vary. It. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely, absolutely. You might find like I like that chord substitution. I just we just talked about there that, that I just found. Mm -hmm. um, in the first bar, of course, we've got this melody that goes. Some jazzers might think, I wonder if I could reharmonize every beat. Right. Okay. <laughs> you know, so instead of it, so maybe could I go? Some of that was all right, but some of it maybe could have been, I could have changed. Oh, so, that yeah, that was interesting, I don't know if I remember. Uh, yeah, it was here. So I did what's called an A-flat Lydian chord there, and I'm just using my ear to think about old tricks that I've and, used and, in the and past. I guess playing this too might influence your composition. So if you play something, you might find little bits yeah. that you like and that leads you into your work to improvise yeah. within that. And yeah. You, not not saying it's the same, but it's a few chord or a chord sequence that you've you've used from there and you've just changed it a little bit to what you like and then you, you might ex expand that and, and it might go into a different tune. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And a lot of these standards it's worth saying have these standard kind of jazz chord progressions which are called two five ones. Uh -huh. Or in this case we've got what's called the three six two five. So in the key in the key of E flat, we've we've got the scale of E flat. And when we get here, we get the one, we get the six, we get the two, we get the five. Uh -huh. Billions of jazz standards have a yeah. six two five one with that kind of thing, or in in classic in sort of the standard two five one chord progression, or in this key two. This is a, a, a we get this in pop music, don't we, as well, you know, these kind of, and in certain classical music as well. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and just, you're just improvising off that, you, you know, you've got these patterns and everything too, so it's, it's quite, it's quite something, but the, the, it is magical, but behind the magic, it's just hard work. Yeah, a lot of graft, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Right. Yeah, thanks, Eddie. Thanks. No worries, Paul.